Today I'm sitting down to do a video on a gothic homeware and jewelry brand called Ravenous and they are from Brazil. So the ladies at Ravenous were kind enough to send me a few items so I could do this review for you. They're very unique and that's what drew me to them. If you like Dracula, vampires, and spiders and all things creepy then keep watching this video. I'm Evelina Demore. welcome back to my channel. It's so good to have you guys here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Let's get straight into the items. Check out these earrings, aren't they adorable? This stone catches the light so beautifully and they're large. Not many companies make really large earrings that are lightweight. I've mentioned this before, my ears seem to be a little sensitive. So because of that, I can't wear really heavy earrings. I'm sure a lot of you out there are like that as well. And I find when I do wear heavy earrings, the actual hole gets sore and it just feels like I'm stretching them, <laughs> which is not what I want when I wear an earring. I want something that's light and comfortable yet still looks cool. And that's why I like these so much. I've also noticed that a lot of companies are starting to use this material now. It is laser cut so you can get incredible precision as you can see. It's also very sharp so you kind of have to be careful about that but I guess, you know, a little bit of danger. The spider has to, you know, kind of bite you a little bit, remind you that it's there. It's all worth it in the end, isn't it? I just, I can't get over the lightness of these. What I like about these as well is they've got that little rivet. It gives it like a little metal edge. It's like goth and spooky but a little metal as well and they're just really light. And you guys know I'm not going to recommend something if I haven't actually tried it out myself. I do find they want to flip around a lot, so sometimes I'll be doing photos with them on and I'm like, fuck, <laughs> I've got the back of the spider. At least it still looks cool. But I think that might be because my jacket's always in the way, making them flip around. Probably my favorite item from Ravenous is this Dracula coffin artwork display. I love the drawing, which is by a local artist. And he kind of reminded me of Victor from Underworld and I'm a massive fan of that series. Also, obviously a massive fan of Dracula. I've read the book. One of my favorite movies is Bram Stoker's Dracula. So much so that I'm about to get a massive canvas printed for my living room to replace Frankenstein. And why I'm doing that is because we have ordered a new couch and it is red and Dracula's purple and that's kind of clashing. So I can't wait to get that up in my living room. Now this came with double-sided tape on the top so you could just adhere it to a wall or wherever you wanted to put it. I keep moving it about. I had it in between my bookcase, I had it on a wall, and then I stuck it on my shoe coffin, which was kind of ironic because a coffin on a coffin <laughs> is kind of hilarious. So he hasn't really found a permanent home. I kind of do that. I don't know if you guys do that as well, but I move things around until I feel like there's a good equilibrium between the distribution of all the items. That sounds really technical, but I'm really into symmetry. And I don't like things that are overly busy because the style that I've got going on in my room is very prego. <laughs> um, the wallpaper in itself is busy, so I try to keep everything else quite simple. Recently, I redid my bookcase and I just literally took off everything. It was entirely filled with books and I just kept a few and it looks so much nicer. I think I will do an upcoming video on that so I can show you how I arranged it and give some inspiration to you. You guys on YouTube and Instagram are always asking me about how I stylize my house and I'm just, I'm really into interior design but I think what draws you guys to what I'm doing is that it's not, it's not the normal run of the mill type of um, styling. It's black and red, it's gothic, it's dark, it's sexy, it's vampiric. It's not something that you come across easily. And I think it also comes across that I'm so passionate about it in all the content that I release. And I'm loving that you guys love it as much as I do. I think they have some different ones of these. So you might find, I don't know if I'm making this up, but there might be Frankenstein. <laughs> Need to check their website. This was just adorable. It just seems like a collector's item as well. It's a very unique item. And if you like vampires and coffins as much as I do, go and grab yourself one. You guys know I love my makeup and what I love even more is cool looking things to put my makeup in. So this is just awesome. It's so sturdy as well. It's a bit dusty. I should have cleaned that before the video, but that's what you get when you sit it on your vanity for sex, sex, six months. Sorry, I've got sex on the brain. Why does one girl need so many mascaras? <laughs> what the fuck? My favorite one at the moment, this is Mega Volume Miss Baby Roll by L'Oreal Paris. I wasn't expecting much from this guy because it looked quite generic, but I've done my lashes today and I think they look pretty good. I'm getting very good separation between all of the lashes. Incredibly sturdy, very sharp. Again, you get that with this laser cut stuff. There's no softness to it, but I think that goes to the look. I think that's why I liked it. It's just so precise. And that just works great for holding my mascaras and would also work for brushes as well. Speaking of brushes, I have this awesome coffin. Isn't that cool? Rest in peace, you've got a zombie hand coming up. And I've literally been using this 
for as long as I've had it for, which is a while. So I apologize to Revenus for taking so long to do this video, but there was a reason behind it taking so long and that is I'm busy, <laughs> but mainly that I want to try out the products. I want to make sure it didn't break and it does what it says it's supposed to do before I kind of promote it to you guys because I think that's incredibly important as I mentioned previously. So this is quite wide. I would say that's about three inches at a guess. If you ask a man, it might be four inches. <laughs> Uh, but you can see there's a lot of stuff in there. They're full size brushes that I've got, a pair of scissors, a bit too much realism here. I think when you're doing a sponsored video, you should probably <laughs> clean the product. I don't know, do you guys want to see it like pristinely clean? I think when it arrived, it had a strip of plastic on it. <laughs> Remember those earrings I got where I'm like, they're kind of bubbly. And you guys are like, you have to peel off the film. It, it wasn't as much like that because I, it was like the third time that happened and I was very aware <laughs> that they usually come with the film. From memory, I had to pull that off the, the spider webs and the other areas that I'm going to show you. Oh, I might try that. This would work really well in the office as well, just for pens. It's very versatile. This next item is a lipstick holder. Aesthetically, it looks cool as fuck. And you've got the logo here, Ravenous Duck Luxury. And it is just a very well-made item. I've tried to put my liquid lipsticks in here and it kind of works, but as you will see, they don't quite stand up straight. I would have liked it if somehow the <laughs> liquid lipsticks could have stood up straight. But at the same time, everyone's lipstick is different thicknesses. So how would they know what hole to make to make sure that you could fit one in? Like it would suck if the hole was so small that you couldn't fit anything. You can see Lime Crime's packaging is a lot thinner and smaller than the Jeffree Star one that I have in here. This item might be cool for someone that maybe has four or five lipsticks and wants to display them all. <laughs> But when you've got 50 or 60, this is not practical. I would prefer to use the coffin or something a bit bigger to put more items in. Another cool item I was sent was this laser cut necklace. Saying you're back. I love the spooky font. It's reminiscent of the Dracula movies. The very, very early ones where they used to draw by hand the movie posters. <laughs> and I think this kind of font, like forever, will be associated with the horror genre just because it was used in so many movies. So it's on a simple black chain. It's not adjustable, but you could easily change the links if you wanted to. The way I mention that is because sometimes I get necklaces and they're way too long and then they're not adjustable. This just sits at the perfect height. It's flattering where the vamp sits right between the breasts, but not too low. It's not too high to be awkward if your head was moving around, because again, it is sharp. This, this is dangerous. This could be used as a weapon. So if someone like tries to fuck with you, you could just like, rip it off and be really cool and then use it as like brass knuckles. I'm not condoning that sort of behavior, but I'm just saying, hey, a little bit of security as an added bonus. Zombie, 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 eh, 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 oh. No, it has nothing to do with it. How cool is that? I am a fan of Walking Dead. I loved the walkthrough maze that they had for The Walking Dead at Universal Studios. That was cool and God, they got me so many times. It's like you walk into those things. Basically, if you've never been and you don't know what it is, you walk through this dark room with all this creepy lighting and they've made quite a lot of the area look like some of the scenes from Walking Dead. It's really cool. But basically, people just jump out and scare the shit out of you. <laughs> and they get me every time. <laughs> Oh, the worst one was Mike Myers. Oh my God, Michael kept getting me. There was like 600 Michaels in this dark room. And when he comes to you with a knife, the, your instinct is just to pee yourself a little bit and scream. And that's pretty much what I did through that entire mix. It was so good. I would go back just for that. Fun was saying that the boys would enjoy it a lot as well, but I'm like, hmm. People coming at them with knives and chainsaws, that has to be like PG-13 at least. So this one's pretty much the same as the other one. It is sharper. It's so cool. It's got a lot of edge. I've seen a lot of lovely girls on Instagram take some really cool photos with that. Just keep in mind that they are really busy. So pair it with something really simple so you don't get too much going on. Busyness is the death of fashion. Okay, now we're up to the last item, which are these gorgeous spiderweb earrings. I just posted these on Instagram. I actually took that photo quite a long time ago, but I thought it was so lovely. I wanted to keep it for the release of this video that I took a long time to film. Sorry. These are so cute and so creepy. And you can still get them in relatively easily with nails. I've got long ass stilettos at the moment. Ah! And that was fairly easy to do. I love the way that the black catches the light and then suddenly it will turn to white. It's so cool. And especially with my hair, you kind of can't notice it. And then you just get this little shimmer of spiderweb. There we go. See that? 
I love it. And again, they're really light. I'll put the other one on so you can see what that looks like. I know I keep saying, oh, this item is my favorite, but out of everything that I was sent for this collaboration, definitely three things are my favorite, which would be the spiderweb holder that I have my mascara in, these earrings, and the Dracula artwork. I can't find the hole. The struggle is real, people. This is definitely due to my nails. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Okay, we're done. Let's move this ridiculous amount of hair out of the way. How cute is that? Well, that's it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing these items on the showcase of Ravenous. I have a discount code, so check out the description below and use that if you'd like to buy any of these items and you can receive 10% off. That is not an affiliate code. It's just something I'd like to offer you guys so you can save a little bit of money. The one thing I will mention is that they haven't got the English version of their site online yet. So it did make the navigation of the website a little tricky because obviously it was in another language. <laughs> Bit of a barrier. But the staff are very friendly. So if you have any issues, just go and add them on Instagram and send them a DM or something and they'll get back to you and help you out. All right, give this video a thumbs up. That really does help my channel. Leave me a comment down below. Share this video if you want to. It's so lovely to see you guys here and I will see you in the next video. Bye.